In this video, we're going to look at the difference between the built-in header builder and Elementor's header template option. If you're building a website, making a great header is vital. With JupyterX, you can easily create dynamic headers that are guaranteed to impress your viewers. With the built-in header, you can display the most commonly used elements and set the styles for them. Do this by going to the Styles tab, select the element to customize, click Customize, then set the options according to the desired design. Going back to the Settings tab, it's important to notice this button here that allows you to modify the layout for different screen sizes. Anywhere you see that button in JupyterX, you can specify options for desktop, tablet, and mobile devices. You can also specify if you want your header to overlap the content. If off, it pushes the content beneath it. Also, full width stretches your header to the edge of the screen. Lastly, you can set the behavior to either static, which will remain at the top of the content. As you scroll down, it disappears. Fixed always remains at the top or bottom of the window. And sticky turns your main header static keeping it at the top of the content, then allows for an alternate menu that acts as a fixed header remaining at the top of the window. After you scroll down a certain amount of pixels, it will appear. This is the offset. Then just decide if you want that sticky header to appear on tablet and mobile devices. It's important to note it's not recommended to enable sticky headers on mobile or tablet since they take up a lot of space. Now let's look at Elementor's header template. As you can see, this looks just like a page and has all the same options that a page has, meaning you can add the elements provided with JupyterX such as buttons, images, headings, icons, the list goes on. Your only limitation here will be your creativity. So overall, the biggest advantage with using Elementor's header template is unlimited design. The other advantage is that you can design multiple headers and apply them to specific pages, in addition to setting a global header for all pages. So if you're just looking for a quick way to set up a basic header, the built-in header builder may be your best choice. But if you want more freedom with design and flexibility, take a look at designing a custom header template with Elementor. Thanks for watching. Cheers.